for this one. So a couple things I want you guys to think about. Sorry, this is GX. A couple things. We know that whenever we're doing the integral, these constants are not affecting anything. Kind of like the derivative, we can just take them out, correct? Yes? So what I would recommend doing is let's just take out, let's take out the constants. I'm going to factor out a 5 out front, so therefore I'm going to be left with 1 minus x squared. And I'm going to factor out a 3 in the denominator, which will leave me with a 1 minus x squared. Now, this might still be like, I still don't know what to do here. But what I, what I start to see is, well, I have 1 minus x squared and 1 minus x squared. I don't like the square root, but this might look a little bit easier to understand if I rewrite this as 1 minus x squared to the 1 half power over 1 minus x squared. Because wouldn't you guys agree, now we're just dividing like basically exponents, like the base is our expressions, but we're basically dividing exponents, which would mean that this is going to be um, 5 thirds over um, 1 minus x squared to the negative 1 half power dx. And I'm just showing every step, which obviously you guys would not want to be doing. Now let's make it look like this. And now that looks something kind of familiar. Do you want to see it? Is that name? What is it? Sine of negative one. Sine of negative one. Yeah, it's sine inverse. Sine inverse. Or arc sine, either way. So 5 thirds sine inverse of x plus c. Okay, You guys kind of see how I did these steps and broke it down. But nothing, no, I mean, that looks like a very confusing problem. And if you were to see that for the first time, you'd be like, whoa, whoa, 